guys, today I'm back with another video in which I will unbox the highlights of the current brochure. As always, everything will be linked in whatever format that you are watching this video, it will be linked and listed for you so you can tell uh, exactly which of whatever it is that I was talking about, but I'm going to blab about them now. And two of the things, I'm gonna just start with two things that are kind of not related at all, but they were the things that I was like, what is this? Because they came in boxes. When something comes in a box like this, there's no way I'm waiting to unbox them on camera because I just needed to know what was in the boxes. Um, so the first one, I, I kind of look around the box and I couldn't see anything about anything. And then I saw compact power bank. What is a compact power bank? So it's quite big. I was thinking compact meaning small. I thought, well, it's not compact, whatever it is. So in the box, we have this little bag and this little wire. And then a little bag is this. I'm just going to take them. I hate, I hate these. I understand, you know, that those people, and if you are one of those people, <laughs> those people that can leave them on for ages. You know when you get a new piece of technology and people leave the plasticky bits on? I'm like, rip it off! I can't wait. And now I have a big finger smudge all over, but I don't care. So, compact, right? It's actually got some like little diamantes on the side that I didn't notice before. They must be lights to tell you how much power that there is. You can see those little things there. They're actually like little sparklers. So anyway, this is the compact part. It's a mirror. Oh, hi. It is a mirror. How cool is that? So it, it's a power bank. It's actually essentially, you know, an, a mobile charging unit for your phone. So you can plug in anything to a, like that's got a USB charging thing, whether it be like, I don't know, a tablet or a phone or whatever, or a camera even. And you can plug it in there and charge it from this. But you can keep this in your handbag and it's actually got a purpose in that it is a compact. And considering that it's a mirror and a charging unit, it is fairly compact and it's rose gold. There's just nothing bad about this, really, is there? And then the idea is that you can also um, charge, wherever the wire's gone, you can charge this thing with this wire that comes inside. You can charge it from a computer, you can charge it from anything that you can plug it into a USB with, basically. So you can take the charger, you know, your phone charger out of your charger, plug, plug this one in, charge it that way. Really, really useful. And to be honest, over the past couple of months I've been really really lazy with, I think it's because I got a new phone, that's probably what it is, and so the new phone is not as bad with the battery as my old phone, but I always always used to have a spare charger wire and a charger unit with me at all times because my phone was always dying. So this is just a pretty one that I could have with me. Inside the other box was this. It's a necklace. I'm actually going to put this necklace on so you can really see what it looks like. I have it backwards right now. How beautiful is that? It's three different coloured metals. So it's got kind of a coppery rose gold colour, a gold colour and a silver colour. And then the chain, I can't, oh it is gold. I was looking at it earlier and I couldn't figure out what colour the chain was, but it is kind of a light gold colour. How pretty is that? So it's got the little wire, but then the little sparkles as well. I think that's so sweet. Moving on to the final item that we get to before makeup, which is another fashion item or items, because it is a pair of shoes. It's these gorgeous pewter pumps, they're kind of like ballet pumps, but they've got, I love the kind of mix, we're going with a real mixed metal theme here because we've got these and then we've got the pewter that's got little toggles on here that are golden and then we've also got gold detail around the heel as well. I have more eyeliners to show you, but these ones are a little bit different. These are called the Glimmer Stick Flick. I have four different colours, let's see, Forest, which I'm assuming is green, Hazel, which must be brown, uh, Sky, which must be blue, and ebony. Next I have this Skin So Soft Silky Moisture Overnight Body Treatment. Now I've used a lot of body lotions and body butters and all those other different things but I've never used an overnight treatment for my body. This is thick. Kind of reminds me of, you know you can get like foot treatments and foot creams that say to leave them on and that they'll do something amazing but you can't really massage your feet with them because they go tacky. It reminds me a little bit of that. Wow, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but this hand is feeling super pampered right now. So I've left two of the best things till last this time. The first thing, I didn't even know they still made. I had this years ago, way back when, when I had a makeup bag of things, <laughs> rather than now, which is, you know, 
silly. Um, when I had, you know, a makeup bag of things that I used on a daily basis, and when I ran out of something, I repurchased it. And that's what I did like a normal person, instead of drawers and drawers of lipstick. Um, way back when, I had this primer. And this is kind of the primer to which I've measured all primers against for the remainder of my life. That sounds like my life is over. Thus far, it's what I've measured all primers against. Um, and when I got this, I thought, one, I can't believe they're still making it, I didn't know, and two, it smells and feels exactly the same as it always did. It's so nostalgic. It's the Magix Face Primer, or Face Perfector, sorry. It is effectively a primer, but I'm going to put it on over the top of my makeup because I seem to remember it worked really well to mattify, which is why I loved it so much. It's this kind of, like, really odd texture. Really, really good for around your pores. I used to put a little bit on my nose and my chin to keep me matte and it used to do amazing things. One, it smells like cocoa. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like cocoa but that's always what it smelled like to me. But it's like velvet. It almost absorbs and I'm sure it's not absorbing but it blends so nicely it feels like it's just disappeared. It just makes my skin feel matte and velvety but not dry and powdery. I'm sure it's great underneath makeup as well, but that's how I always used it. Um, either on my like bare skin or over the top of whatever makeup I was wearing to keep me matte all day. Amazing. I'm so glad that I've got that again. Um, and last on the matte topic, we have four new matte lipsticks. Matte lipsticks are my jam. I absolutely love a matte finish. I can't remember the last time I found like a glossy anything and was like oh my god I love this so much I just occasionally I'll be like yeah I'll just put a gloss on because it's easy and it's just there but I never reach for a gloss I never reach for like a really creamy looking lipstick I love matte and I have been told this is like matter than matte so in their honor rather than just swatching them I thought let's swatch them I've been bare bare lipped no color right here for the, for the remainder remainder is my favorite word today for the entire video um, and I thought what I would do is swatch them one by one by wearing them so you can actually see what they look like. Colour number one is Ruby Kiss. Very, very bright red. I am very much enamoured of this. It's kind of a pinky red. It looks like this in the tube. I don't know. It's got a pink to, to it to me. I like this one. Um, also, the texture. Again, it's very, very velvety. When they said matter than matte, I expected it to be very, very dry, which I'm not, you know, I'm not against very, very dry lipsticks because I really do like matte textured lipsticks, but this is very comfortable to wear, but looks very matte, it looks very velvety. I thought I'd swatch the reds right after each other so we could tell the difference, because I'm looking in the mirror now, and I can tell it's a little bit deeper, but I think side by side, you know, shot by shot, you'll be able to tell a little bit better. This one's called Red Supreme, and it's a little bit more of a burgundy red. A little bit deeper. And again, oh man, I think my favourite thing about Avon lipsticks is the smell. They smell exactly like gummy bears and that is doing nothing for my diet at all. <laughs> We're getting really, really dark with this one. This one's wild cherry and I feel like the next one is darker still. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. Um, very, very vampy. The last one is Superb Wine, which looks like this. Super, super dark, almost like a, a brown red. And I think we have to end on talking about the packaging, which is totally matte tube. Entirely kind of fingerprint attractive, but yes, we like the matte tube. Let's do more of this, please, Avon. So that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed it. A little trip through these makeup products with me. I am so excited about this. I used it throughout, kind of as I was using things and trying stuff on, um, but this is going to live in my handbag from now on. This is such a cool idea. I've never seen anything like it. It's an awesome idea. And the matte lipsticks, I think, if you're one of those people that's really scared of matte lipsticks because you feel like it's going to show up every little flake, it's not. These are not those kind of lipsticks at all. They're very, very creamy and very, very forgiving. So especially in the winter time, when our lips are not looking their best, let's face it, they're going to be flaky and they need a little bit of attention. This is kind of, it feels like it's got a little bit of silicone in it or something. It's, it's kind of like the lipstick equivalent to the Magix Primer. It kind of blurs over everything and it doesn't pick up on every little bit of not so nice skin around your lip area. So if you're that kind of person, don't let them put you off. These are excellent. 
But that's it from me. Uh, don't forget to check out the links below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!